Hello, Mayors. Welcome back to Build It with Smith. I'm your host, Smith, and today we are going to be talking about epic projects. Now, I hope you all are doing well, and I hope that your cities are thriving. Uh, now, if you don't already know, here's a little bit about what an epic project is. Uh, an epic project is another upgrade for your already fully upgraded skyscrapers. Now, uh, the good thing about having an epic project or many epic projects in your building is because they produce speed up tokens. Well, they actually produce a fifth of a speed up token. You have to collect five of these little, let's call them speed up coins. I don't really know what they're call but they appear at the top of the buildings and every 24 hours a new one will pop up and you can click and add it and it's going to take five of them to complete one speed up token now you get there are three speed up tokens uh and you can use those in your commercial buildings to help speed up production times they're very useful so there's three of them there's the copper colored one that is the turtle speed up token and it speeds things up two times i believe that's correct yeah two times so twice the production with one of these coins drop them in there and they last for an hour uh and then you have the silver speed up token which is the llama i believe it has the llama icon on it and that will give you four times the uh production speed it speeds it up four times in your commercial buildings uh, the shops, in other words. They're called commercial buildings, but of course we know them as the shops. Uh, and the third and uh, most hardest one to get a building for is the, uh, the gold and cheetah uh, speed up tokens. The gold buildings, that, that, they're not gold buildings, the buildings that produce the gold speed up tokens. Uh, and so those give you 12 times your speed up uh, 12 times your production speed. It speeds it up 12 times. I'm having a hard time saying all this. Uh, so, anyway, the Department of Epic Projects unlocks at level 24. And so if you're a beginner, you just get this headquarters and you place the building and wait for an Epic Project icon to pop up on one of your skyscrapers. It doesn't matter what kind of skyscraper it is. It could be a standard, a premium, or a luxury building just as long as it's a skyscraper. Now on for the tips. Tip number one, plan ahead. You get 24 hours to collect as many epic points as you can. And uh, of course, that determines what level your building is. So uh, real easy to get an epic project. All you need is 10 epic points. But if you wanna get like uh, a silver or a gold, it's going to take a little bit more. I think it it takes uh, 80 to get a, uh, a, a silver llama producing uh, epic building. And it takes 160 epic points to get a gold. So gold are very hard to achieve. Silver is not that hard to achieve. You can use your coins, maybe use your copper coins to help get you to that next level. Um, so with my first tip... The reason I say to start your, your plan your start time ahead is because, uh, for me, for instance, I had done one of these and I started it right before I go. To, I went to bed, so that wasn't very smart on my part because I lost like six or seven hours just because I was asleep and I wasn't active in the game doing anything. So if I were you, I would maybe be started, maybe even not so early in the morning, maybe midday. So that way, the following day you have the whole half of the of the next day to work up and try to get as many epic points as you can. Um, and my suggestion would be, before you go to bed, produce items that take a lot of time when you're about to be inactive. So whether you're at work or school or something like that, put those production items that take a long time into production right before you log off for a little bit. So that's tip number one, plan your start time ahead. Tip number two is to stock up with items before you begin. So before you start your epic project, stock up, go to the headquarters, buy some things. Don't clear your storage. Usually I would say clear your storage when I'm giving, you know, tips and tricks and stuff. That's one of the things I say, clear your storage uh, for various reasons, but it doesn't apply here. So here, don't clear your storage because you may need some of the things they may prompt you for it in your epic task. 
and increase your storage if it is possible. Uh, another thing I would say is your factories. Have some raw materials ready in your factory so that you don't have to uh, spend a lot of time producing stuff. You know, of course, you need raw materials uh, to make the other materials, uh, the items. So uh, have some stuff ready in your factories. Now, if you don't have as many factories unlocked as me, I think I have 10. I can actually fit another one. Uh, I think I only have, I think I have 11 that I can use, but I only have 10 on my map. So if you don't have as many factories, just stock them full of high production time uh, deals like, you know, I mean, things that you use a lot like chemicals, textiles, they take like two to three hours to, 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 uh, to produce, but you use a lot of them. So I would keep a lot of those stocked. So that's tip number two, stock up with your items before you begin your epic project. Tip number three is to use your speed up tokens. Now, when you unlock the Department of Epic Projects, it's going to award you with some speed up tokens to start off with. Don't just use them all. You know, uh, you should even probably consider which tokens you want to use for which tasks. Like if you're producing something like hammers or nails or something like that, unless you're producing a lot, I wouldn't even use any coins for that stuff at all. Now things like planks, things that take a little bit longer, it's somewhere in the 20 to 30 minute range, and especially if you're, gotta, you're, you're having to do a lot of them, then I would use a turtle um, speed up token. Situations where I would use like the silver speed up token is if you are, have something that's going to take maybe an hour to produce, uh, hour, 30 minutes or something like that. Uh, maybe if you are planning to log out of the game for a couple of hours, maybe three to four hours, and you have four things to produce, go ahead and use one of those silver ones so that uh, by the time you log back in, you will have everything ready for you. Uh, then your gold uh, speed up tokens, I would use those only when I'm active in the game. Let's say that I got to produce five fire pits or something that take a long time. Then I would use a gold just so I can move on to the next task. So that's tip number three, use your speed up tokens. Uh, tip number four is to choose your projects wisely. Uh, start a project in a specialization that you have the most buildings with. Like on my map, I have, uh, or in my city, I should say, I have a lot of gambling buildings. I kind of went crazy with that whole thing. I made a strip out of it. So I would probably do best to choose a specialization under the gambling categories because I'll have more tasks that appear on more buildings. And uh, you should also ignore the task, at least right away, unless you already have what that needs. You should ignore the task that uh, gives you only one to two epic points. I wouldn't pursue those as much as the ones that uh, maybe make three or four or something like that. Uh, now you can also transfer to different buildings. Uh, I have a lot of buildings, skyscrapers in my city that I like for them to stay there. And so if it is giving you the prompt to change this particular building to an epic project and you want to keep it, you can transfer to a different building. Uh, so those are a couple of things that you can do with epic projects. You can change the specialization by clicking the change button and you can transfer to a different building to get it on the building that you care less about. Final tip, tip number five, find items in the global trade headquarters. Uh, stock up on items that take a long time to build while you're there, uh, like beef and uh, lemonade and fire pits, etc. Uh, or items that take a while, a while to produce, like textiles and chemicals, uh, ke chemicals and animal feed. Uh, those take a long time to produce, so if I were you, I would pick those up in the Global Trade uh, Headquarters. Uh, so go for the epic, uh, the Cheetah Epic Project when the game provides double epic point per task. Now this weekend they were giving away uh, double the epic projects for the education specialization. So I did a, uh, a, go uh, a epic project under the education specialization. And uh, that worked out real well for me. I will actually reveal here in a second my gold, first gold, uh, cheetah cheetah producing uh epic project i should have wrote all this down but anyway uh let's go over our tips again and i hope they help number one plan your start time ahead 
Number two, stock up with items before you begin. Number three, use speed up tokens. Number four, choose your projects wisely. And number five, find items in the headquarters. Well, I hope that, uh, I hope that helps a lot, guys. Good luck with those epic projects, mayors. See you next time.